Okay, so we have assembled the LGA development kit and uh, what we're going to do now is uh, put the whole thing together. Let's see how that goes. So uh, we have our development kit here with the main antenna being here. So I guess the first thing we should do is uh, attach the, the main antenna. So that was screws on like that. And uh, we have our antenna and the dev kit ready. Um, we will also need a SIM card uh, so that we can talk on the network. So if we take the SIM card, we can see that uh, gets inserted here in the board. You can also see on the underneath of the board, there's another picture for the SIM card as well. But we can simply insert that. It's a push insert into the board. And we're ready now to insert the modules. So for that, we are going to use the medium adapter, which we can put into place like this making sure that the two uh, alignment, little white alignment squares are there, or triangles are there. And we have our module. So we have an ELS61 module, which we will also align. Remember the cutoff corner aligns up here on the top left, as, as it shows here on the, on the uh, adapter. If we put that in, that's fine. We then need the pressure cap for the LGA adapter, which we just turn and line up these four holes so that it's ready to go on. And we can put this into place, apply a little bit of downward pressure and turn. And that will then hold the module nicely in place on the LGA dev kit. Okay. You may have been wondering what this part's for. I have absolutely no idea. So what we're gonna do now is plug in the power cable and start the device. Before we do that, we just need to check the switch down here for power. It's not on external, it's on USB, telling the board that we will take power from the USB. And we can put the cable in. What we see here now is that the dev kit has power, which is great. We can see that there's no error light coming on, which is great. And we can start the module. So when we press that button, the module has come on. We now have the module started and booting. And that's it, that's great. Okay, we're gonna have a look at a couple of error cases now. So if we just take power away from the module, uh, I just want to show you what would happen if you tried to start the board with a bad connection or no module installed at all. So if we took the board in this state, we have a SIM card inserted, we have the antenna connected, we've applied USB power, we've made sure that the power is there. Um, and when we try and start the, the unit with no module inserted, you'll notice we get three little red blinks here. In fact, we get a permanent red blinking light there. So that's telling us there's no module inserted. If I just remove the power and take the module and try and insert it the wrong way. So here I've got the laser etching upwards, but the little cutoff corner is down here. Of course, the cutoff corner should be up here. If we just put the cap back onto the LGA dev kit and start it one more time, we will also see the red warning light. So we have power on the, on the dev kit, but when I press the start button, you'll see that the warning light is flashing telling us that the module is inserted incorrectly. So I'll just remove the power and that will stop. And those are the two error cases with no module and with the module installed in the incorrect orientation.